welcome back today we have this problem called integer roman if you we had like the, the previous problem or maybe like the last two previous problems we talk is about the integer roman that we have uh, roman numerals are represented by uh, seven different symbols we have i v x l c d m and i has one the v has five x has 10 l has 50 c has 100 and d has 500 and m has 1000 for example we have if we have two the two is represented by two ones if we have 12 12 represented by 10 and two ones so like that um which is simply like if we have 27 it will represent it by two tens and one five where is the five one five and two so it will be like that um however uh, roman numbers are usually written largest to to smallest from left to right However, the numeral for four, it's not uh, four, uh, four, four simple for the four of I simples. It's it's um, I V. That means I and V. It's like that. And also a ten, a nine, nine is um, I X. And as you can see here, so we had and um, I can be placed before uh, uh, V, so we can get five, and X can be before be list L, so we can get ninety and um, we make sure that the uh, the numbers are uh, up to um, uh, 1000 and uh, if you want to know something uh, the, the the numbers uh, are are can be from um, it's it's not bigger than 900 so uh, let's try to find the solutions we have three and three it's basically presented by three ones so I have this three, we have uh, 58, so we have 50, first we have L, and 8 is represented by um, uh, V, which is 5, and II, uh, 3 I's, and we have this number is represented by this, and I don't want to get into it, but let's just 1000, 1000 is represented by M, and we have uh, 900, and 900 is represented by, uh, I guess it's... Um, cm right yeah it's cm and 90 90 is xc and 4 is iv so first of all let's just let's just give it a go to just try to think about this problem so how we can approach to solve this problem what coming to my mind that i will create two arrays one will be the for the values all the values that we had and the other will be for all of the samples that represent the values. So I'll just what, let me just to copy this array. And I'll tell you what about the array. Let me just copy, copy, and just paste. So let's talk about this one. So this array we have, uh, in this one we have the samples are, are seven, but we have more than seven. Because what I think about that, we put all of the edge cases, like 900, 490 49 and 4 i put all of these edge cases because it will make our life way more easier and we don't we have only seven edge cases so it's 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 a pretty straightforward it's pretty easy just we can do it hard coded directly so we can just put these edge cases it will make our life way more easier to solve the problem so the thing that we should know about the edge case is that the edge case has two uh two 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 characters because 900 it's equals c which is uh, uh, uh 100 minus m which is 1000 and 400 equals c which is 100 minus d which is 500 N and 90 is equals x which is 10 minus uh, uh minus uh, c which is 100 and you can go so on and so forth so you find this problem it's, it's a pretty straightforward the thing that we could you know, uh, the, the trick and the, the way that you can make this problem way more easier is when you just think about the edge cases are not that much so we can just put them in the array so when we try to loop it will be way more easier for us so let's just to create um lit res and the rest will be array and what I would think about that, I will first loop through the um, through all of the values that we had, and um, and let's just loop through the values. So I will say four. Let i equal zero. I 
list then uh, values the length oi uh, and um, wait a minute i should be less than value dot length and also there's something important that um the num the num should be bigger than zero and i will say why you will s you understand why we're doing that and i plus plus so let's start into this one so um first of all i would say uh while um values of i is less than or equal num um because if the values of i is bigger than num that means this 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 value of i can't get uh can't get the 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 um the, n the number can't can't get the number so we will say that um uh we will say that okay so i would say that first of all num plus or equal num plus okay i will take the values of i value from num okay and i will put the simple of values of i the simple of this one so let's say that we have 1000 so i'll put the simple of 1000 which is m into res so it will be res dot push the simples of i this is what i'm thinking about okay so and um and i will i will i will join this dot join and i guess that's it so let's just think about let's just try to to test this one so let's say that we have three okay so we start from here from biggest so i will say okay while i dot values uh and uh is is um is while, while i uh, less than values dot length and num bigger than zero because if you if you can see all the time we'll take values from num so first of all i would say okay num is equals three so um if values of i less than uh, num i will say here as i can see no because the uh, nums equals 1000 so we'll continue loop 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 until we reach four i will say okay is values of i less than or equal num no it's bigger so i will continue to loop un until i reach one okay so if, if values of i less than or equals num yeah okay so we'll take right now the values of i this one we are in the last element so we will take one uh from uh from um We'll take one from uh, from from i. We'll take one from num. So num will equals two right now, and uh, the rest will have a simple of uh, of i. Okay, and we will continue again to loop again because uh, we say what values of i less than num. Yes, that's right. So okay, take one. So it will be this one, and it will be uh, we will push another i, which is the simple of one. It will be will be i. And it would be our series that push uh, simple. I will do the while values again. It's less than or equals num. Yeah, it's equals to it. So okay, just take one. So it will be zero. And after we'll be zero, we will end the loop because it, it, it's done. And I will say uh, res that push. It will be simple of i, which is will be another i. So this is the one that you will find was i. Let's just test if uh, the code is working. Okay, the code's not working. <laughs> Why is not working? Let's just to try to um ah, okay we didn't return okay it's working now okay so uh, try to take any one the thing that we have doing here because we are th the trick is that when you create these two arrays the solution becomes way more easier than you imagine the problem comes with this problem is that some people would try to jump directly in the in the in the code and when you jump directly in the code you find yourself quite lost but however when you create these two arrays you find the solution is really easy it's it's, it's really really one of the easiest problems to solve so um that's it for this video i hope my solution was quite good if you like my solution make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you will never miss a video 
if you think my solution is not that good just give me a comment and tell me what the things that i should uh, improve on on on, on, on my um, on my uh, solutions and um, maybe give me a comment about a better solution if you have a better solution and uh, basically that's it for this video i hope my solution was quite good and see you in future